おいしめて五千六百人の大軍勢ルフィ先輩その代表の俺たち七人と親子の杯を交わしてけろフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフ Who doesn't remember the friendship slash rivalry that existed between Roger and Whitebeard that ended up generating one of the coolest alliances we've had so far? Or, who doesn't remember the iconic and controversial union between Roger, a pirate, and Garp, a sailor, to face Zebek, knowing that these alliances happen, especially when the parties to this alliance have a similar objective, will Luffy bring together the largest and most powerful pirate fleet under his name and on his jolly Roger? Stay with me, we'll talk about this now. And well, my dear pirates, before we start, hit the like button with all the power of your hockey, and of course, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Okay. From the beginning of Luffy's journey, his real intention was, in addition to forming a strong band with pirates skilled in specific areas, Luffy also wanted to form a true team of friends. And well, we saw that he achieved this, his band today goes beyond the pirates that we see in his crew on the Thousand Sunny, today Luffy has so many allies that, let's say, his total crew already exceeds 5,000 members forming the great fleet of the Straw Hats. As an example we have, the beautiful pirates, who are the first division of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet. The crew is commanded by Cavendish, bounty 330 million. In total, there are 75 crew members. In the Bartow Club there is a pirate crew originating from the East Blue led by Bartolomeo, the cannibal, bounty of 200 million, with a well-known member, in addition to him, the missionary Gambia. It is currently the second division of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet, with 56 members. The Hapo Armada is a pirate crew led by the Chinjo family of Kano country. Under the leadership of Sai, bounty 210 million, the Hapo Armada is the third division of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet, with roughly 1,000 people under command. The Idio Pirates, formerly known as the XXX Martial Arts Academy Alliance. It is a pirate crew led by Idio and is the fourth division of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet and made up of only four members, making it one of the smallest crews in the work. The Tantata Pirates, formerly known as the Tanta Corps, are the armed forces of the Tantata tribe, created for Operation SOP, which was later reformed as a pirate crew. They are made up of 200 dwarves under the command of Leo, forming the fifth division of the GFCP. The new giant warrior pirates are a pirate crew led by Hedruden. Currently made up of five crew, they were previously part of Buggy's delivery, before leading to become the sixth ship of the GFCP, following the events in Dressrosa. The Grand Fleet of the Yanta Maria is a group of 56 ships led by Orlumbus. She shares her name with her flagship, the Yanta Maria. It is the seventh division of the GFCP, with 4,300 members. Despite all this, Luffy didn't like the idea of being a man with subordinates, but the seven captains ignored him and became his followers, thus creating the Great Straw Hats fleet. The Straw Hat Grand Fleet is a fleet made up of seven pirate crews who have pledged to serve under Monkey D. Luffy and his crew. In total, there are at least 5,640 members of these seven divisions, not counting the Straw Hat pirates themselves. However, even with so many allies at his side, Luffy could still have more allies, especially helping him directly on his journey, there were several characters that we fans believe joins Luffy's main gang. In addition to those already mentioned, Vivi, Bon Clay, someone from the people of Skypea like Wiper himself or Aisa, Carrot, Katakuri, Yamato and currently they are theorizing a possible return of Enel to join the Straw Hats and of course, we could never forget Bonnie since everything what we saw in the current arc gives us hope that this will happen. But now that we are dealing with possible demons and as Luffy's journey is heading towards its end, perhaps we need a lot more people to help our beloved Straw Hat to defeat these enemies that are appearing. Yes, Luffy is extremely powerful, but I don't believe he can do everything alone. Even more so believing that Ima will appear at any moment, meaning there will be an epic battle. 
Law and Kid are already Luffy's allies, these three together were extremely important in the Wano saga, but there's still more to come. So to achieve the so-called most powerful fleet ever seen, well, I believe we're going to need a few more allies. Because of this, I believe that the group of Shanks with the Giants will be of great help at the end of this journey, in addition to them we have Kobe who is the person who will change the navy in the future. In a previous video I commented on how Luffy and Kobe will balance the forces that rule the world in a more fair way when Luffy becomes the king of pirates and when Kobe becomes the maximum leader of the navy. I'll leave a snippet of the video for you to watch. In the One Piece universe we are following everything that happens from the perspective of the pirates and because of that we have the perception that the people who are part of the navy are the real villains within that universe. Well, beyond a critique of tyrannical governments and government organizations that Oda likes to address in his work, in fact we have to admit that even within the navy there are really good people who believe they are on the right side. The reality is much more complicated to analyze, there are bad people and good people in all kinds of societies, organizations, and in big companies. So thinking about this dichotomy I came to this question. Because if Luffy becomes the king of the pirates, and we know that this time it will be to bring freedom to the people because of Joy Boy's promise and his return and Nika's destiny, how will the navy be? Because if we go back to the beginning of One Piece, we saw how the dreams of two people with hearts full of kindness crossed and both followed their dream and destiny beyond the differences and ideals they had. Kobe and Luffy are living proof that opposites can coexist. Even being inspired by Luffy to become even stronger, Kobe still didn't change his ideals and fought to become a sailor and who knows a future admiral. We saw how he evolved a lot from that fearful and crying boy to someone brave who stood in front of one of his leaders to prevent more lives from being lost in vain at Marineford Ark. And on the other side we have Luffy who, unlike many pirates, does not want to dominate anything or anyone, he does not want to be the owner of any nation, territory, or large fleet, people join him of their own accord but in fact Luffy is not the type of person who wants to do things or dominate people based on strength and power like Kaido did for example. Both are very similar in that regard, so even if one day Luffy becomes the pirate king and this time the world government falls, I still believe there can be a coexistence between pirates and the navy. In other words, my dear pirate, the navy doesn't need to end, because Kobe can become the leader of this organization and change it completely in the same way that Luffy radically changed the concept of what it is to be a pirate in One Piece. Roger's lines at the beginning of the anime and manga are about fortune, power and fame, but Luffy wants to become the pirate king to be the freest person in the world and not the most powerful in the world. Another thing that makes me believe in this idea is the fact that even after the world government ends and all countries become free and choose to have or not have a ruler for each of them, there will still be criminals whether they are pirates or not. And the world is too big for Luffy to watch over. There will always be people with authoritarian thoughts wanting to rise to power, so Luffy will need help, a lot of help. And Kobe as the leader of a completely renovated navy could be the answer to that, so I believe that in the end there may indeed be an alliance between Luffy and Kobe just like we had with Garp and Roger in the fight against Rox D. Zebek, but this time the alliance would be definitive to bring balance to the world without having to take away individual freedoms and the autonomy of country. But now I want to know your opinion about everything we commented here today. Do you believe in the possibility of a union between or else a peace agreement between the navy and pirates? Will when Luffy becomes the king of the pirates the navy will be disbanded or is there a chance that the navy coexists in peace with the pirates? Anyway, for me this is the only way to finally witness the real thing, the most powerful fleet ever seen. But I want to know your opinion about everything we commented here today. But of course, if you made it this far it's because you like the content, so it doesn't hurt to subscribe to our channel and become one more member of our fleet, my dear pirate. And of course, do not forget to press the like button that helps a lot in spreading the video and the channel, so help us to become the largest fleet of pirates here on YouTube, okay? A big hug for everyone. And until the next video.